tomorrow for all the subscribers. You can be a subscriber right here, right now. The way you do this, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content, the opening call. Uh, Basil is going to be uh, the title of this webinar tomorrow night from 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time is Anything Goes. And that's a fact right now uh, in the market. Particularly, it seems like uh, this would be really applicable over in England, Anything Goes. I'll tell you that. What Basil is going to be talking about, he's going to be talking about uh, where we are currently in the market right now. Uh, reading the technical tools that will show you where the market is heading, the outlook for 2019, 2020, uh, the risk versus the rewards, the specific sectors, including the fangs. And of course, this whole workshop is archived, folks. Uh, you can, uh, you'll be on your page uh, for an additional 30 days. Really easy to subscribe. You just hit uh, subscribe. You can go for a month, six months, a year. All come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Basil Chapman, what's going on? How are you doing? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Cool, man. Cool. So, so you got a big workshop April, coming up. And we're just about to have another webinar. Wow. Time yeah, I know. Huh? I know. Got to so love I'm it. Showing a, I'm showing a pattern here in the Dow. This is on the left side. That's the daily. In the middle is the weekly. On the right is the monthly. So you can see this arch formation that I've got in blue. And you can see that 26,241 was the high of the 25th of February. Yes. And the high yesterday was 20, 26,280. So we went slightly above that. And we're always looking for a leg D. So let me explain what I'm going to be doing in my webinar. Let me just go to this right now. So in the webinar tomorrow, anything goes, stock market's key phase. Tomorrow, April the 3rd, 5 o'clock till 6.30. It'll be archived on the page of the subscribers. The reason why I say it's a key phase is because there are levels that I, I, I'm going to be talking about that could be uh, could start a very bullish phase, or there's levels that could start a consolidation, and, and those are the levels that we'll be talking about. Most importantly, you know that I'm always looking for four higher peaks. You go to that peak D, the fourth highest peak in the, in the Chapman Wave uh, identification of the low, and then you merely count each successively higher peak. That fourth highest peak is alphabetized. It's A, B, C, D. D is where you start to be careful. So let's just have a look once again at the Dow chart. We're in a D right now, but the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, has just crossed positive and the stochastic 74%. Very important numbers. Going back to the uh, webinar, the things that I always look for in terms of uh, patterns. Oops, let me just get back here. Is that I believe that there are only three patterns in the market. One is straight up and straight down. The other is the arch, and you've got a cup formation. Within that, you've got a variation where you can get an inverted V. It's still an arch, or you can get a cup or a V-shaped pattern. But what's really important is that within that context, you can also get a sharp move down and then an arch formation. And as it tests that left side low, if you take that out, that has a special meaning. And on the upside, you saw that in the Dow chart, right? Uh, as I showed you, we're testing that left side high. Let me show you something else. We're along the IYT, which is the transportation index. Here we are. We're right back. 192.27 was the high in the daily chart right there on the 19th of February. That was a peak F. You pulled back sharply at 179.55. Started a new move up. Break trend line resistance. Now, where are we? We're right at 192.40 was the high today. That's 13 cents higher than that previous high. And yet, this could turn out to be a new leg A. Is the transportation index just about to break out? That's what I'm going to be discussing. One of the reasons why for subscribers, we've tried to get into certain positions that have the potential to be in this next phase is uh, because of these patterns that we've been identifying. And uh, within that context, if you look at uh, the dollar, the dollar, which, uh, what's today? It's the th second. So we've got two days to go, and that'll be one year that we've been long the dollar since April the 4th, 2018. That's at pretty wild. It is. And from the 90 level, it's hit 97.71 twice. What are the patterns we're looking for? Look how fascinating this is. There's that cup formation. Within that, you've got a little V-shaped formation. 97.71 was the high back, I think it was about the 11th of March. And today, we've gone to a high of 97.52. We are 20 cents away from breaking that high to start a leg D in the weekly chart. 
and our leg C in the monthly. And look at these arch, these cup formations. Look, cup formation, cup formation, cup formation. And look at the big one in the monthly. So these are the patterns that I'm going to be showing, demonstrating, teaching during the webinar. At the same time, I'm going to be talking about the uh, the opposite. If you look at, uh, I'm going to just for the moment go to gold. You'll see that gold has the inverse. And there was a huge cup pattern right here in the in the gold from the 15, 1353 level back in last year. I think it was somewhere around June. Pulls back to 1167. It comes right back, retests at 13, just under that level. Um, that was about five weeks ago. And now it's starting to pull back. And there's a little bit an H pattern that we were looking at moments ago. What did I say? We're looking for peak Ds. There it is in the daily. So all of this is going to be relevant. I'm um, talking about areas of the market that I think are looking much better now that should be maybe not necessarily leaders, but they should have a very good move to the upside in the next six to eight months. I'm also going to be talking about the pattern that I'm looking for for 2019. I'm looking at the socioeconomic. I always look at the where's this chart. I'd like to show something here. Uh, this is I always find this fascinating. How do you go from uh, look, this is this is the Mozart era. Look how the men used to dress. They had all this uh, fancy garb, and you had this the little wigs that they wore. And this is a fashion from today. So things look like they change over a period of time, but we always come back to it. <laughs> we do. I mean, this is the way it is. Human nature doesn't change. We That's go from pretty good. excessive and this to sparsity. Look at this. Yeah, this is during the period of Mar Marie Antoinette. That was very tumultuous, what do you call it, uh, a, a period of great tumult back in the 1790s. It just happens to be a little revolution over there in France. This is Marie Antoinette style dresses. And here we are. This is a dress, a contemporary dress in 2018 or 19, 1.5 million for this dress. Really? And yeah, and, and I wanted to talk about where, how do we get to this particular period um, where excessivity, I call it excessivity, you, there's a certain wealth effect, and it's usually created by the stock market, that starts to have people spending, and then the people who really spend, these are the people, the ones who spend some money that some people might not even earn in a lifetime. Right. And the, the other thing is automobiles. Look at this. This is a, what, which one is this? This is the Hispana Suiza. It's a... Uh, a, a, a car that is, it has a thousand horsepower, and it costs 1.7 million, and it it, it it has all the accoutrements that we, that we're looking for for excessivity. You know, all the little yep. bumps and grinds. Yes, and uh, this is what I'm going to talk about and the relationship today and why this market is a very unusual market and that there are certain sectors that should do extremely well this year. And folks, the way you come into it, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the featured content, the opening call. Check it out. Bows, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right